Buckle up Android fanboys, this is time, we're going to download Top 5 Must Have Android App for 2024. This is November and part 1 series and if you missed my previous video, don't worry about it, I'll throw a card on the corner right here and I'll throw everything in the link in the description below including the download link for this particular app as well as all the videos as well. And I'll throw chapters down below as well, you can skip it if you have seen this particular app. If you have seen this one, comment down below on what sort of situation you have used this one as well. And for disclaimer purpose, these videos are for education purpose only and before we start to this one I really want to shout out to all my subscriber out there who's been helping this channel grow faster I really appreciate that one guys that means the world to me so thank you for that one now let's move on to number one number one is called Claude.ai so Claude this is a chat bot for you if I want you to give it a try with this one or if you have used an um, chat GPT and you want to do something different or you want to get a better response I want you to install this Claude and you'll be able to see the difference with this Claude.ai so this is much more fun in terms of context if you want to summarize some email you want to rewrite something you want to like you know get some ideas this is much more quicker so every single uh, scenario this does in better in terms of free version but if you want to use a paid version chat GPT 4 it's much more faster snappier if you want to connect internet here it doesn't connect anything but chat GPT 4 does connect with the internet give you your latest information and this is a sort of a free way of using any sort of AI on your pocket as well so if you want to call it that way so this is a free version again it will work better compared with the free version of chat gpt and i want you to install this application give it a try and comment down below if you like this application or not or if you have used this application and what's the difference did you find in chat gpt versus claude and now let's move on to number two number two is called facer so facer it is a great application and i've already featured this application in my short video but i'll want to explain something how you can load um, different faces uh, completely free by the way on your any sort of a particular watch for example i got a samsung device and i got a watch 6 uh, being as a watch 6 i have a limit of functionality that is limited choice uh, which i want to select so if i want to select different watch faces then the only option i have is if i press and hold it and then wait for a few seconds and you'll be able to see that it will give me an option to select different watch faces but having a watch faces and you want to get something different but apart from uh, the preset from here from Samsung you have a no choice getting something with a third party sources but if you go and play store and try to find different watch faces there are a ton of application out there they'll tell you this and that but out of them this actually works perfectly fine and the, as you can see this is watch ultra for um, for this video purpose what i'll do i'll go back here and i'll select uh, some different random here and we're going to go back here as well so now we're going to search press search i want to search for ultra wait for a few seconds uh, this is watch ultra i believe this is the right one watch ultra one if not then we'll uh, give it a try with some different as well so if you have paired up everything then you have an option called free so that means that's it to push it here so if you want to push this watch faces here then what you have to do you have to select it editing mode and i'll for example i'll just delete this one for this video purpose and so now what you do is if you press and hold if you press and hold scroll down press add and then once you have everything set up on your device if you scroll down all the way to bottom and the section skip scrolling and you will to see something called face here so you can see right here face here you select that face here and then you select that as in a default so it needs to actually load first before you actually push any of these to your device here as well so for example if i want to push this one i press free and then i'll say yes i've done that and then guess what it's going to start loading so don't worry about this advertisement there are a ton of advertisement everywhere team is everywhere so you know if you have been watching other content as well the team is literally everywhere it's flooding everybody's thing so now it's i press open and then you will to see wait for a few seconds and boom i gotta watch ultra face right here in my wrist and i don't know whether it has a nightstand or not i don't think it does have here but let's go and try with a different watch ultra z so we're gonna do that press free wait for a few seconds it's gonna load it's, just, it's just technically a very very quick a way of changing the watch faces as well without touching your device here as long as you have set this application as a default you can select any sort of a free version unless you want to pay for it you can pay for it as well but there are multiple um watch faces here but uh, what i would recommend you to do is go and top chart and start with and press the top free icon here and then you'll be able to select a multiple free 
any sort of a watch face if you want to get a Donald Trump guess what you can do that as well and you can get a lot of watch faces here completely free but some certain application it will ask you to so for here I so say it will ask you to select what sort of watch faces you want to get it then you select it watch face and you push it in that's how you actually load that in but for uh, for our video purpose here so what do we can do again we're gonna give it a try here ultra wait for a few seconds this is the one we're gonna like it you're gonna press free so you can see it is it takes a while at first but later once it's loaded it is actually pretty good so this has a nice sand when I press that it'll come back on if I do that it nice then just kicks in as well so this is a cool way of getting a cool watch faces on your device as well so this is completely free available on play store again it is awesome one and comment down below if you like this application or not or if you have used this application in the past and what sort of situation are you are uh, using this application number three is called open food facts so open food facts it is uh, one of the great application if you want to stay healthy if you want to know the nutrients how good is the product or not so as long as it has something in a database you'll be able to see a lot of things if you want to create a profile you want to sign in you want to set up your account you're more than welcome to do that so food preferences so again what sort of nutrition you want to get um is it salt is low or high i will say very important if your sugar is high or low fat what about this uh, again you can select your food preferences and based on that it will actually give you a recommendation for example what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab something here and you'll be able to see there's obviously it's just a box of cereal here and what i'm going to do i'm going to scan a barcode with this one so we're going to scan this one and as long as you scan it you see right here let's move this out of the way and you'll be able to see uh so what sort of nutrition does it have so it has this is kellogg's it gives 500 gram based on that uh, obviously barcode it knows the very thing so very environmental friendly impact so that's pretty good so in terms of scoring it has average nutrition quality so if i want to press that and you'll be able to see uh again what sort of score nutrition level nutrition facts and ingredients missing food processing level unknown and again it will show you of various various facts the beauty of having this application is you can do a whole lot of things for example what sort of energy how much sugar content it has saturation fat has salt had fiber has fruit nutrition and all those things so by using this application you can find a lot of things just by scanning a barcode and you'll be able to see a lot of facts in there so they have a lot of um, you know gurus out there in the internet saying this is bad this is good guess what now you can actually do it by yourself by scanning this with this application so again you can comment down below if you like this application or not or what sort of situation you're going to use this application and do you think this is going to be beneficial for you or not now let's move it to number four Number four is called Thunderbird. So Thunderbird, it is a great email client. If you're looking to get something a very reliable, it takes uh, literally no information or no, no data out of your device, guess what? Look no further than this. I've done similar with the K9 mail client uh, in my previous video, and then Thunderbirds recently dropped this one. So I really want to show this uh, to all of my viewers out there. So this is a great email client. If you have used any sort of a Linux operating system, and this is sort of a default, most of Linux operating system if i'm not wrong because this is much more reliable has very minimalistic um again process well you can see we're going to go through the settings here but before that let's go and press about so you can see the author is a canine dog so walker so thunderbird mobile team they actually created this one this is version 8.0 and you can see this is from github so it's again it's an open source as well so if you want to go into settings now let's move into settings press general and in general you have display interaction notification and network privacy and debugging as well so if you're going to display so what sort of a system language you can select you can select a different language if you like if if you have different preferences you can select that fixed message theme against again depending on your choices you can do that and message view theme as well use the app theme or you want to see light dark or use the app one you can select whichever way like composer again use our uh, app theme or you want to select a different one again up to you as well font size animation as well so unified uh, inbox so start an account and a density so what sort of density you want to get a compact default or relaxed as well so depending on the, like what size you want to get it preview line so how many preview line you want to get a zero none technically no you don't want to see anything any lines in the email or you want to go one two three four five six and let's move on to interaction as well so volume key or so you, you can use navigate between messages using a volume key in the message as well you can do that after deleting or move the message so where you want to uh, when you finish it where you want to get it back to so return to the message list as well or you can do a different one again they'll 
A similar thing with the swipe function as well, left and right, simple, very, very simple functionality. You want to select a different one, you want to swipe left, you want to swipe, obviously swipe uh, right to delete, and then you want to swipe left to unmark or do whatever you like. So for example, I, I'm generally using swipe left to delete and swipe right to mark as unread. So I can do that way as well. So again, depending on your preferences, this actually works. And this is very, very simple email client and actually works every single time. It supports a multiple email client at the same time. So that means you have uh, Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, two, three Gmails or whatever you have, it, uh, you can actually load and this one as well. So give it a try, comment down below if you like this email client or not, or if you have to use this similar email client and previous as well. So again, this is one of the good one. Now let's move on to number five, not the last though. Okay, number five on the list today is called Transistor. So Transistor, it is a great to listen to radio. So majority of the device like a similar device, like one of the A15, they have a built-in radio. As long as you hooked up, this is the headphone jack, you'll be able to, um, listen to anything but if you have got something an high-end device then you cannot get the radio functionality apart from DAB which is digital radio but guess what you can get it like this so for example if you want to say this is just a default station I put it in you want to select any sort of station to so, um, Sydney so I'll just put Sydney obviously I can spell it wrong so if I put Sydney in you can see 2GB to FM you can select anything and it actually streams out of it as well so this is sort of a streaming services and actually works uh, I don't want to play and get a copyright here in my channel but you can load up anything and if you want to go in settings as well again it has a similar thing so tap radio station tap on to play to start update radio station image if you have any sort of image in the radio station export M3U playlist which is sort of a playlist for PLST and you want to back up a station uh, you can back it up and save it in there and then if you want to reset it uh, restore it later you can restore it later as well use a larger buffer edit station edit streamline and what sort of app version you have you can see this is very simple but you can listen to any radio from anywhere around the world so if you're watching at the moment you want to watch something sydney radio station guess what you are more than welcome to do so this is where i'm located at the moment you can listen to any so any part of the world even you can try it with your own country as well if you're watching from a different country try it and comment down below if you like this uh, application or not or if you have used any sort of similar application and anywhere else uh, this sums up my total top five must have android app for 2024 november part one series and by the way guys if you like this type of content smash that like button comment down below if you like any particular apps to be reviewed in this channel and guys be happy stay safe this is gnsx6 signing out peace